My name is Andrew Akwose. In this channel, I share my tips, design hacks, and trainings to help you design graphics that promote, build, and scale your business online using just your smartphone. If that aligns with your interest, please hit the subscribe button below and turn on the notification. Also, rest assured, you'll be the first to get notified whenever I post a new video on my channel. As an online entrepreneur, if you want to build their brand visibility, one of the ways to do so is to always wish your clients or your customers a happy new month at every uh, beginning of the month. The banks do so also often. If you check your bank, uh, the email sent by your banks tomorrow, tomorrow is a new month, just check your image. You will see uh, a well-designed uh, flyer attached to the email that they sent to you wishing you a happy uh, new month so that is one of the ways to register your presence online and to build the brand visibility so i'm going to show you how to design a simple happy new month flyer this is one of the simplest and basic uh, happy new month flyer you can uh, replicate or do something similar so i want to show you how i came up with this design idea very simple it's not difficult now now this is the flyer i molded you can see the happy is quite different from mine the new month is different from mine what i just picked here is just the concept i picked the concept here and did something uh, similar to what they are do they have done so mine looks a uh, unique different from this so that is how to uh, to model a flyer not to replicate don't replicate uh, people's flyer without their permission so what you should do you should study designs and uh, come up with inspiration this is where i picked mine from very simple and uh, straightforward so let's open a new page this is a fresh page that we want to start with first we'll change our background so click on the background and click on replace this is my canva library so I, I i included the background from my canva library so i've changed the background now the next thing i want to do is to i want to place a shape on it to try to make the background not too noisy or too distracting so come to the plus icon on that element on that element i'll click on the lines on that lines and shape i'll click on the rectangle then I'll spread the rectangle to cover there. Then uh, the the color is already my brand color, the dark blue. So I'll reduce the transparency to something um, 58. Okay, let me leave. okay 58 is okay. So I'll lock the background. So I've set the background. The next thing I want to do, I will start including my text. Come to the plus icon, then go to text. Under text, add a subheading, edit, happy. Okay. So I'll change the font style to glacier difference. Then come to format bold. Then go to spacing. Then increase the spacing to the end, 800. So I'll change the color to yellow, my brand color. So happy. The size I'll change, I want to change the size to 100. Let me use 100. So that is 100. Happy. come to position and i want to okay it's at the center so i will come to the plus icon also to click on add the subheading edit then i'll type a new month in caps new month let me drag i'll drag to fit so i'll change the font to glacier indifference I'll change the size to 125. Let me use 125. Then come to format bold. Bold. Okay. Let me make the happy white. Let the happy be 
let me see what okay the new month will be white rather not the happy new month duplicate the new month then edit then you can type in your message yeah let me just say uh, wishing you uh, up a productive productive month so this is my message this is my app your yours can be longer so I want to reduce the size to 64 to 64 you can use a longer you can type in a longer message if you wish so I'll come to position it's at the center already so I'll just let it closer to this place a bit happy new month wishing you a productive month the next thing I want to do I want to include the the July duplicate edit July so make it all caps come to format click on AA all right then I'll uh, change the font I want to change the font to Oxford Oxford so you can type in the font Oxford O S W A L D you're going to bring out the font so Oxford is what I want to type then uh, let me see if I can. I want um, 960 watts. Let me use 965. Oh, it's not. Let me still increase it a bit. So I, let me bold in it. Come to format. Click on bold. So I will adjust. I'll make it bigger. All right. I think this is okay. Let me check the size. Okay, this is okay this way. Then um, make it at the center position. Center. Let me move it, move it down a bit. Now the next thing, I'll come to the plus icon. I have already uploaded the picture I want to use, so I'll just select it from my library. So I'll go to position to send it to the front. Position. To front let me reduce the beat all right come to position again center okay so it's already at the center yeah I think this is okay you can see the man is happy the image is related to what I am uh, designing I can't be saying happy new month and uh, I will not be using an image of someone that is frowning. So whatever image you are using must be communicating what whatever message you are you want to pass across using your design. So I want to include my social media handles now. So come to the plus icon. I go to elements, other elements. You have uh, lines and shapes. Under lines and shape, I'll click on rectangle. So I'll drag to adjust. drag to adjust okay so I'll change the color to my brand color deep blue then I want to start including my social media and so I'll come to the plus icon then uh, include my icons Instagram Instagram I'll change it to white let me reduce it a bit I'm zooming in so that I can see what I'm doing as you can see I, I, I turn on my page margin because it will guide me this is how to turn on your page margins as you can see I've turned it off I'll turn it back again so that it will guide me in aligning my work properly okay i think this size is okay let me try to okay this size is okay so that is instagram i'll include the uh, linkedin 
so make sure the your icons are at the same size almost the same size so i'll zoom in to have a better view of what i'm doing i'll change it to white I'll, the last one i want to include is facebook I'll change it to white also too so I will now type in my let me zoom in now let me duplicate wishing you wishing you let me just come come to the plus icon and include go to text add a lead add, add the heading edit i'll type in my instagram andrew at andrew ah, let's see. so i'll change the font color to i'll change the font style to glacier indifference then change the, the size to something 60. Let's use 60 so that it will be the smallest font we have on the design. Change the color to orange. All right. Let me zoom in. You can zoom in by holding down the, your thumb and your small and the next uh, finger as if you want to pinch uh, something so this is the gap i want to maintain between the icon and uh, let me see make let me use a notch tool to make it closer a bit all right this is okay yes that is okay so let me duplicate Let me move this this way. Then my Facebook, I will edit. You can see 2020. The space between my Instagram handle and my uh, um, icon, and the icon is 20. Also, to the Facebook icon and my Facebook handle is 20. So that is how to maintain a very uh, good uh, distance. Can use those numbers. Duplicate this, then edit. This is for LinkedIn. So I'll do same also too. As you can see, 2020. So I'll leave it that way. So I want to adjust it properly now. You, use the, you can use the notch tool. So I'm moving it down a bit. Okay. I what I want to do now, I want to group each of them with their icons so that it will guide me well to arrange it better so i hold down my name then select uh, multiple let me zoom in then i'll select the icon then click on group i'll do so for my facebook also to select my name click on multiple click on facebook then group i'll do same for my Instagram and do all right we are set so I want to arrange them properly now I'll make sure they are exactly at 
on the same line so this one i want it to be at the edge as you can see you can see the line the grid lines the vertical grid line so i is at the edge of uh, the border the grid that i turn on so this is also at the middle between these two of them all right so our happy new month flyer is ready that is how you can design a simple happy new month flyer every month you can do something similar you can use a different background to come up with the same concept you can use this concept to come up with a unique uh, design so i would love to see what you can do